Gonzalez, Nelson Newman. What up, this is Matt Barr. What's going on, y'all? It's Waggy K. Ray. Nico Naismith, founder and creator of the Hoop Bus. Shout out Indy Sports Film. Shout out Indy Sports Film, man. We out here in LA, California, and you're watching Indy Sports Film. And shout out to Indy Sports Film. The Hoop Bus way. Yo, 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 what it do, what it do? Hope the sound is good. Hope y'all can hear me clearly. Um, y'all know who it is, man. It's your man, Dom. Domo. Indy. The man, the myth, the legend. Nah, let me stop guessing. Nah, but uh, thank y'all for tuning in today. Today we're doing a special, uh, a special episode series. You know, we're starting something new, and we're going to be reacting to uh, game footage. And um, we're going to start with... Um, 15U EYBL Indy Heat We're going to start with them This is a great team to start with They know how to play basketball Solid group um, Got high level guards um, They got great bigs and great wings So we're going to start here This is a game uh, at May Hoops versus Iso Joe And uh, yeah we're going to get into it uh, First we're going to shout out some of the players We got Elijah King Number 11 We got Cooper Zachary we got uh, the Lampley brothers, and then we have Isaiah Hill. All of these guys um, are high-level ball players, super comfortable with each other. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see, we're gonna get into it and see, um, and see what we see. I'm gonna be breaking down footage from my my perspective, my point of view. So yeah, let me not talk y'all head off, but we finna get right into it. All right, we got Elijah King with the ball. We got Coop on the block. Cross screen, post up. I will say that's a very, that's a light post up, Isaiah. If I'm coaching you right here, I'm telling you that you're gonna have to seal him way better than that. You're gonna have to get this left, uh, yeah, get this foot across in front of him and seal him, all right? If you wanna ever get entry passes, that's gonna be the start right there. Uh, okay, yeah, we couldn't get it in. Turn over. And look who's bought a ball, Mr. Mr. Hustleman himself. First play of the game, turnover. That's not good. So let's see where this goes. Rebound, one dribble, kick out. And we got the wings running the floor. That's great. That's what I like to see. One, two. Two turnovers, first two possessions. <clears throat> all right let me speak on this too all right for all right this is what i'm gonna say for any guard that wants to play without um well let's let's just say this any high level guard if you want to play basketball at the high level you're gonna have to do some things and i'm so glad that i picked this team because it's gonna set the standard on what the guard play on defense should look like with some of the best defensive players in the country so um with that it's it's mental you know you got to have a certain mentality defense is a mentality you know and if you don't want to win if you don't want to get after if you don't want to you know make make a statement then uh you're not gonna buy into defense but people who do you get results like this so shout out to Coop for uh buying in and being a great lockdown defender Anytime it's uh, anytime it's man press or anytime somebody's taking the ball out, my preference is we don't need to guard the ball. Let's double team somebody. So I'm glad that I see that right here with Elijah and Cooper double teaming this guy on the inbound. You just got five seconds to hold. So that's my preference and that's what I like to see. So that's good. Make them pass in half court. That's good. Look at that. Defensive pressure. Up. Up, up, up. Guards, please take notes. Guards, please take notes. Good back screen. Good defense. Good help side. Way to be there and help side, Big Lamp. I'm going to call Lampley Big. I'm going to call older Lampley Big Lamp. I forgot his first name. That's my fault. So now we got um, we got a, a down screen starting here for the corner, and then we got my guy starting block popping out. 
to the wing, which is good, and we got Isaiah playing high post. Dribble handoff, one dribble swing, cut. We got a back cut from Isaiah, one dribble kick. Good. Kick, kick, a lot of movement. And two or three balls. So, so, all right, so we're going we gonna, to uh, discuss this and address this as well because um, what makes a good defender, I want you all to drop in the comments, what makes you a good defender? Is it your ability to stay in front of people, uh, your ability to, to move your feet, right? Is it your intensity? Is it your anticipation? What makes you a good defender? Um, and what makes you a bad defender? Let's say you can't move your feet. Your feet are slow. You don't have good lateral movement. Let's say you, you, you don't anticipate well. And uh, those things, I would say those things make you a bad defender. A bad defender. But if you look at Coop, if you take a look at Coop's game, right, he reaches a lot. But nobody will say he's a bad defender because he reaches a lot, right? That's a reach, you know. But he recovers. There's another reach, and he caused a turnover. So he had, he he does this he does this very well. Some guards may not do this as good as him, but Coop does it very well, and he he um, he converts very well. That's why he's been labeled a great defender because of his tactics and the small things that he does. And um, I, I would consider that to be good defense. He he's. If he wasn't good at it, it would be bad defense, but he's good at it, so it's justified in my opinion. Turnover into a missed layup, so we struggling on offense for the first couple possessions. Let's see if they can get it going. Inbound play, I want to lay up. This is a box setup that I'm I'm familiar with as a coach. I would have Isaiah up screen for this guy, and then um, Isaiah up screen, and then this cross guy, Lampley, to screen for Isaiah coming down. Both of them roll down, and uh, Isaiah will leak back. That's what I would do, preferably, to try to get a layup. Cross screen, down screen. Okay, that's not bad. I've seen something on this drive that's not a bad drive at all. I did see something right here though. Dump off. You got Isaiah. Once once you once you commit and you see this guy's eyes, especially with a 6'10 guy back here, that's a lob, man. That's a lob and a bang out for my boy. You can dump it off to him, you can bounce pass it to him, you can you might be able to shuffle that in there, but that's a lob. At child level, y'all y'all lobbing that, and Isaiah's going up and catching that. So lob that to him. You got three people committed. We can get a better shot on that one. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Retain possession. Slightly different inbounds play. We got the post up now. was a tough pass and a tough grab. Body. Good. Good, Isaiah. Where the bang? Where the bump down there? Ball. One for one from the free throw line. And look, once again, look at Coop, 94 feet. That's good, good way to turn him. That's again, that's another reach that we was talking about. Now let's see if he can recover. Kind of pushed up. Let's go. I can see the coach wants to play fast. He's telling him to hurry up and bring the ball up. So that's a plus. I love coaches to play fast. Pass and screen away. Coop cut. 
Screen. That's a good move. Good. Uh, that's tough. They struggling right now offensively early. Trying to find the rhythm and the flow. So let's see what they're going to do. Back screen. Back screen. Okay, Coop's got past the ball. This guy here set a back screen on Coop, which it was a little bit of a miscommunication between these guys, which leads to a wide open three pointer. So now they in five out. We got five out. Pass. Screen away. That's another tough shot right there. So now you got a no personnel. Isaiah can't shoot. Isaiah can't shoot, big fella, he can't stretch the floor, he can't shoot, so this is not a bad opportunity or a look for him. One, two, this is not a bad shot by you either, you know, I know when, when, when Elijah gets in his bag that he, he can't score. Coop is acting as a decoy right now, trying to get this man to get some buckets, stretching the floor. That's a tough shot. Nobody crashed the boards, nobody's cutting or anything, what is going on? Alright, that... Struggling offensively early. Struggling. Cooper Zachary. This type of defensive pressure creates turnovers, creates chaos, and leads to opportunities to make something happen. This is how your impact, this is how you can be impactful by effort. This is how your effort can impact the game and make something happen. So kudos to my man's again for, for bringing the pressure and the fire and the intensity like he does every day. Great deal. This is a tough first half to watch, man. Cooper Zachary with the three. First attempt. Good ball. That's a nice shot. They were in a five-out situation. The D went. They closed out with a hand. What I love about Coop's D is he's always going this way. He's never going backwards. He's always inching towards the ball. He's never backing up on D. Speaking of backing up. He dialed his back just a little bit. And Elijah, that's my guy. He already know what it is. That's my guy, but so we want to be up on that. We want to be up on that. Get your, get your forward, forward. Yeah, uh -uh. It's situational. I say it's situational, you know. Again, we see a five out. We see a five out, pass and cut. Pass and cut, pass and cut. We got a curl.
Okay, we switching screens. We switching screens. Block. Obviously, they're having some uh, some issues getting the ball in the basket this first half. Um, shot selection isn't terrible. Um, ball movement is there. Um, they're just struggling right now, struggling to put the ball in the basket. So we got our first sub. Shout out number 24. Let's see, let's see uh, the impact he makes. That's a good shot. Way to go get a bucket. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Make sure everybody crash the board. That's the only thing I see. Don't anticipate a make, anticipate a miss. All five crashing the boards. Pick and roll. Pick and roll with a travel. All right, so we got Ty Wayne Fuller coming in, high level guard. Elijah coming in. Since big lamp with the three ball. Excuse me, y'all, excuse me been up all day. Alright, so he made his first made his first free throw. We got a steal off the one two two. That's good, made both. Alright, so now the first thing that I immediately notice is this guy doesn't have any ball pressure. And that might be because of the switch defense from going man to zone. So they're not they're not full court pressing. Okay, so I think now we're in a 1-3-1. One, one. We were in a 1-2-1 one, one, or a 1-2-2. Man, 1-2-2 two, two, two to 1-3-1. Two, two to and personally, I hate 1-3-1 one, one defenses just for that reason alone. It's way too easy to beat. If, if, if the team knows how to pass the ball, it's super easy to break down. You hit them corner, you hit the corner. I know we got big Isaiah in the back. He's long, he's fast. You know he can close out and, and, and cover a lot of ground, but this is why you give up a three ball. I hate that defense personally. And let's see if it was a mistake. Let's see if it was a mistake. Uh okay, let's see if let's see if that's a mistake or what, because Because when you win the one three one, the middle guy he has no responsibility right now. Ty Wayne should should be free throw line extended more. About right there, you stay about right here and this would be good. Isaiah has the middle guy, it's mano y mano. You know you got a corner guy, so you got to stay at home. Right? 
now it's just communication. You see here, you want to itch over a little bit. All right, he has nothing. Yeah, that's tough. It's a ter terrible defense in my opinion. Not them playing terrible defense, but just a, I don't like that zone. Ooh. Dribble hand off screen, kick. Good jab, step, one dribble, pull up at the elbow. I like that. Good movement, good shot. Pull up. Ooh. 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 Big fella? Behind, cross. Lay, I see you, big fella. You've been in the lab working on them handles. I see you. That's a good move. It's going to knock these free throws down. Isaiah Hill. Ooh, that's a deep one. Transition three. Got to get back, get set. So we the five out again, pass, down screen. That's a tough take. We want to get a couple more passes, couple more swings, and then let's try something. That's a tough one. Don't force it. So now what defense we in now? All right, so, all right, this is how I judge levels of coaching, all right, because some people understand this, some coaches don't, some coaches get tunnel vision, or some coaches don't have the uh, IQ to be able to think these things through. Also, I don't think coaches should coach by themselves. I think every group, every team out there needs to have an assistant coach, depending on how good your head coach is. You definitely need a second set of eyes on your bench to be able to help with the flow of things, you know, help with things you don't see, just to make extra shots and extra calls for you. So um, this is the third, or well, they back to man now, so they play three defenses, one three one man to man, and uh, one two two zone. All right, so now we back in man. Cooper and Zachary is back in, so I think that's why they went back zone or went back man. I think that's why they went back man. All right, that's that's great to not cool. That's great. That's a great way to deny the basketball. All right, so you know the next pass. You know where the next pass is. As a guard, make him drive the basketball. As a guard, take this pass away, all right? You know you can overplay it. He may be able to back backdoor you. If you're a good defender, you know how to protect that. Take it, taking the pass away. Taking the pass away. Taking the pass away. He didn't even think about passing it to him because of the defense he was playing, so he had to go corner.
which ultimately Coop's awareness and his ability to think and uh, not allow that ball to come back his way, it uh, gave them a bad shot, gave them a, a possession right there. So kudos to Coop. Because if not, he would have just passed it back and who knows where the play would have went. But instead, he had to go corner. And it's tough to score in the corner if you don't have it initially. Eighteen up. You gotta gather on that. You gotta gather on that. You coming down, coming down, pound, two feet, body, hit him with your shoulder right there. Good pass. Good pass. Now we back to 94 feet. All right, we back to 94 feet. Turn around. Good hands out. Good. Get up, man. All right, you got to be a little bit quicker on, on, on getting up there. Run it, run it, run it. Some games, some games you're on, some games you're off. I think Coop has one three. Yeah, I think he has one three and a steal for his turnover. So far. Listen guys, every game, every every game, you know, it's, a, it's one thing about being consistent. It's one thing about being effective all right every game you're not gonna score 25 30 points all right it's it's kind of realistic but it just depends right so kids never get too high never get too low man make sure you just lock in and you give effort that's the only thing that can be consistent every single game is how hard you work so even if even if your shot ain't falling make sure your defense is on if your defense is a little lax at days ago make sure you you're going harder on offense you know just always uh, stay locked in in some area. You know, I don't see no bad body language. I don't see no bad body language. I see, I see good body language. So he's taking his miss as well. Took it off the rim. Somebody just got a tech. Oh, that coach got a tech. He made the first one. He made the second one. Fast forward I like that, I like that. He faked the handoff on the dribble handoff, faked the handoff. Good shot. I gotta be able to hit free throws, man. You're gonna be a high level player, make sure y'all shooting free throws. Shot. 
Cooper with the assist to Big Lamp for the three. That's a good play. I like it. That's a good closeout, Coop. That's a good closeout. Good handle, big fella. Good handle, Big Lamp. Bang out. All right, so they picking up. They picking up now. They picking it up now. As I knew they would, they just had to find it. So 29-19. I don't know how much time is left in the first half. We're going to fast forward through this. So now, all right, now, first play of the sec, uh, yeah, second half. It's the second half, first, uh, first half still. But they're in 2 3 zone now. Four defenses. That's great awareness by Isaiah. The guy tried to go middle. The guard tried to go middle. Isaiah stepped up. He stopped him. Forced him to retreat dribble. He tried to go back opposite to the next pass. Coop gets a hand on it. Lay up. Now, okay, that was the last possession of the first half. 2-3 zone for the last possession of the first half. See, I recognize, I've watched so much tape that I recognize um, switches, I recognize defensive matchups on the fly. I don't have to go back and watch tape to be able to recognize somebody being in the same defense the whole game or, you know, I don't, I don't have to go back and watch tape. So, I like that I see them Switching to four different defenses within the same game. I like that. Because you got to switch it up. You can't just stay true. You can't play man the entire game unless you just physically, uh, unless you just better than the other team and they can't do nothing with you defensively. You know, other than that, switch it up. If you're playing a high level team, you got to switch it up. You got to throw different things out, out there. That's coaching one on one. So I want y'all to drop uh, in the comments below. Drop in the comments for me what game y'all want me to react to next. I'm only trying to react to good basketball. I might do a few, just a, a few bad games or, you know, some lower level games just to show y'all the difference in high level and low level. You know what, I will do that because it is a difference and most people need to see that uh, from my perspective anyway. So yeah, let me know in the comments what video y'all want to see next. Second half. Double elbow. Charlie. First possession of the first half turnover, first possession of the second half turnover. Probably. 
Two threes on now. Ooh. I seen exactly what happened. All right. He got all right. All right. He got mixed up. We are in the two three zone. We in the two three zone, and what happens in the two three zone? This corner guy starts to back cut. All right. Now his first his first thought should be to scream and communicate. Backside cutter. Backside cutter. Backside cutter. You want to tell Isaiah that, and then you want to tell Lamp that that they're coming, so they can adjust for him moving. Instead, he comes over. Just far enough for that wing guy to drop and for them to get a wide open three. Money ball. That's why, that's why you do not stand in a zone. Players, this is why if you're in the corner, you can do more things than just stand there. Move. As you just seen, it creates opportunities. Don't stand when you have the basketball. If they're in a zone and you're in the corner, you can back cut. Okay, that's one of the things that you can do. All right, I just had to say that because a lot of people stand and watch. Like, y'all can't stand and watch, man. Y'all got to be moving, all right? All right, I, I, all right, personally, I love screens. All right, give me a screen. I love screens. Let's work out of screens and let's create. Let's create from there. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Another screen. Screen away. All right. Now let me let me explain something to y'all too because. So here's a screen. And then there's a pass. And a and a and a cut away from the ball. Well, he's screening away from the ball. He's gonna screen Coop's man, but Coop goes back door. This movement on this side of the court, okay, because they're not just stagnant and standing and watching the ball. This movement on this side of the court allows the ball handler to get downhill. Because there's some movement going on over here that these defenders have to be aware about. So now with their movement and their communication and him knowing that he was coming to set that, that screen on him. And now Coop has to move. So their attention is off the ball. And that's what you want. You want movement away from the basketball to take the attention off of the basketball. So that guy can make decisions on what to do. So this is a good downhill drive. Play. That's it. That's okay. That's a good shot. We'll take. I, if as a coach, I'll take that any any day of the week. I'll take that all day. Not a foul. Not watching these free throws no more. Ooh. So it didn't look like that counted, but. I like this too, but you got two options right here. One, two, as soon as you get here, that might be a tip pass with this guy. He's kind of close. It's not a terrible, not a terrible decision. If anything, you probably got these two guys. A bailout pass, but you right there, you a big fella, you strong, you know. That's a that should be a bucket. That's tough, I see. Made one, missed one. Offensive rebound with the bucket. Good, big lamp. Alright. Alright, so what we in now? I don't know what defense that was.
seeing that the higher levels and the lower levels all right so at the lower level bad basketball kind of mediocre basketball it's like we you do a lot of dribble handoffs and stuff like that right at the higher level when you dribble at someone they usually back cut they down screen or they get out the way and that's what I just saw here dribble to you this is a dribble handoff you had a first one but then it's a back cut as soon as he splits the line of the court who back cuts Isaiah comes high and that's movement that's what you want because the movement makes this defender think that he's gonna swing the ball which ultimately can lead to a drive and if he tries to drive you got a kick so that's small movement y'all some people may think that's um, not important some people may think that movement is is you know irrelevant or it's not important but trust me it does do something to the defense anytime you move on as an offensive player without the ball you're helping your teammate out trust me back to man to man that's a great block Isaiah pressure all right stay in front don't gamble outlet ah that's tough down there a lot of contact down there all right so we got this box set up again for the out of bounds play we got we got two cross screens and we got a pop out Elijah gets the foul Listen, being a great defender means that you don't give a damn about none of that. Excuse my language, but that's what being a good defender is, all right? You, you, play, you play balls to the walls every time, man. You don't, worry about, you don't worry about getting crossed or falling or slipping or none of that. So that's tough. That's tough. Tough defense, better offense. with the assist to Elijah in the corner. All right, so it's 37-28, uh, second half, you know, and they're still pressing. The energy is still up. The intensity is still up. All right, y'all got to learn. Y'all got to have win. Y'all got to be conditioned. You gotta be. You gotta have win. You gotta be able to run the entire game at at full energy, at maximum energy. So, kudos to these guys for staying at it. Ty Wayne, another great defender. Ooh, ooh, that's a great move. That's a great move.
Quick. Jab. A rip. Corner. Right back. That's a, that's a shot. Good shot. Good ball movement. Good decision making, Tyway. What I like about that possession is he just caught the ball and gave it right back. Every time you catch the ball, it's not an opportunity for you to put it on the floor and try to create something. Sometimes the, sometimes the right decision is to catch and just pass it back. All right. So high high level players know how to make reads. They know how to make adjustments on the fly. That's what makes you a high level player. You make the right you make the right decision when it's time. Oh shit. You, oh. Excuse my language, y'all. I ain't trying to be over here cussing. Kick. Hand. Rebound. Ah, outlet that. Yeah, don't pass it backwards. Pass it ahead. He's calling for the screen. He's calling for the screen from Isaiah, but I don't know what happened there. But he uh, drove to the cup and he settled. Ooh, nice rock. That's a great shot. Bro is on fire right now. 33 to 40. They're trying to make a comeback. Let's see what we got. Was that a was that a legal screen? Was that a legal screen? All right, so that's why you communicate right here. In that in that situation, the guy who's being screened was on the inside of Isaiah. Isaiah was on the outside of him. In those situations, you got to know that a down screen is coming. So you tell Isaiah to stay there, and y'all switch. So there is no there is no uh, down screen. Isaiah just goes to the top, and you just stay with that guy. But he gets pinned. He gets pinned on the screen. Wide open three. That's a great play. Great shot. Y'all got to communicate on defense on that right there. That's miscommunication. Good pass. Bang out. Good block, rim protector. You gotta let him land. Foul shooting a three, three, three free throws coming up. Thirty-seven, forty-two. 38-42. That's a good move. Good charge, cool. That's a good charge. Way to be, way to be stationed. Way to be ready. Way to uh, be tough and give up your body, man. That's a great, great, great decision right there by Coop. Good play, man. High IQ.
I pick and roll, they jump in the screen. When they jump the screen, that's what the, that's what's supposed to happen. All right, so now as a guard, as a guard, when they jump the screen, you just gotta pick a side. There's really nowhere for you to go, so you have to you have to break the you have to break the trap, and you just gotta pick a side. You can't stay there. You can't pick your dribble up because you damn near ass you damn near out of luck when you do that. So you gotta pick a side. Pick the left side or the weak side or the right side. Whatever you think is weaker or easier for you to get to, whether it's your strong hand or you pick the weakest defender, but you gotta exploit one of them and break it up somehow. So you just shoot outside. Just come this way and try to get this way if you can. You know, that's that's your best option. But picking it up and throwing it, that's that's tough. Good block. They got a lot of turnovers this game, that's for sure. Another turnover. This is a lot of turnovers this game. Screen. Coop and Elijah in the same spot. Y'all gotta move. Travel. They had nowhere to go with the ball. my big fella that's that's great D you got a great you got great rim protection in there with 6 16 down there good good block Kobe got you on that one Quick shot, no passes. That was a quick shot, no passes. I know he hit that last one, so he so he trying to double back down. Heat check. Uh, was it a bad shot? No. But we could have got a better one. And these are big possessions. Now it's 44 to 45. Now you got to calculate your possessions. Man. You got to critically think about the decisions you're making now. Alright y'all, we got 30 more minutes, bear with me. 45-44, let's see how this game is going to go. Excuse me.
pass. Good pass. Good one more. That should be a bucket. Mm, short. Good steal, good pass, oh shit, what's going on? Chill, big fella chill, it's all in the game. As long as somebody don't push you in the back on a fast break or, you know, do some grimy stuff towards you, just, just chuck it up to the game, man. Let your game do the talk and play ball. You know, you know how it is, but don't buy into that. That tough guy, that tough guy stuff. Let let your game be tough, not your attitude. The way to run the floor and good, good uh, way to get to the free throw line, man. Tired, y'all. Good shot, man. Give my man the ball, so he missed. Oh, he made it. Must have been a foul. That's a good switch. Let's see what they're gonna do. Alright, so so they're not switching anything unless they absolutely have to. They switched and then they got right back. He went right back on his man. Ooh, that's That's tough help right there, Coop. That's tough help. Sorry, I got a text. All right, and we back to the elbow hot two uh two guys high post on the elbows screen. We got weak side movement. Oh, that's a tough. That's a fast pace. Soon, what I recognize right there was soon as Coop caught the ball. A lot of times in transition, he's a bullet. Like he's getting downhill. Screen. 
Now he's alone. Bunch of fouls and turnovers. So that was a reach too. I don't think that one was a foul. I don't think that one was a foul. I think that's good hands. Yeah, he hit the ball. So, um, let's have an open discussion. I won't try to drop in the comments below. So, with what I've seen so far, especially on defense, we're going to talk about defensively right now. And we're going to kind of especially talk about Coop right now on defense because um, he's caught. He, well, how many steals does he have? One, two, three, four. Four steals on the, on the game, right? Four steals on the game. He does a lot of reaching. He does a lot of uh, anticipating steals. And he's labeled a great defender. And he is a great defender. I only say that because I had a coach tell me about a specific player and say they reach a lot and that their defense has to get better. Another turnover is crazy. Another turnover. Another turnover. Forty seven fifty one. You want to shoot, then shoot, don't play with me. The hottest doubt the South since slavery. Hey, y'all gonna hear me do that a lot, man. I'm, I'm a rapper, so I like rapping. All right. Oh, they caught a foul on three. Reach around on Isaiah. Way to seal that time. Mr. Frito. Good, this the type of D. It's needed right there. Good, good patience. Another reach, but, but I like it though. Yeah, that's tough. They call that on poop too. Seven fifty two. That's an incredibly tough, that's an incredibly tough pass to make. After taking a bump, already being in the air, having the IQ to be able to see him, Isaiah, I would, I would encourage you to cut when y'all see this guy penetrate and get to the cup, please don't stand. That's a pet peeve of mine. 
Isaiah, you should be you should be cutting with him while he's driving. You should be cutting. All right, this maybe you can take one step in here, you know, just to be more available. But move while he's getting to the cup. Make sure you move too. That's an incredibly tough pass. Two hand bounce pass around the defender while you're already in the air. Another turnover. I've never seen this many turnovers in a game. Don't play with me. possession. Relentless effort, man. You got to come in there. Hey. Assist by Coop. Nice, beautiful three ball by Taiwan. That's a clutch shot. Sent them back to the line. Wow, he stepped over. Wrong time to be stepping over, my boy. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Coast to coast, full speed. Turn the jets on. That's a great play. That's a great play to get a shot off, and it was very well defended. Defended very well. Overtime. First basket wins is sudden death. Foul on that. 
They caught a foul on that, I would have caught a travel. Let's see if Lamp can win the game. Okay, it's not first point wins. What is it? First basket made? have a shot clock man. Or they might have a time on the clock man. Get up Elijah, get up, touch him. So as a guard you want that you wanna if they're not counting you're not fat you're not uh you're not close enough. As a guard if the referee isn't counting you're not close enough. I want that hand out there I want you touching somebody. 452 Hey No foul is crazy Good pass. What happened there? Cut, Elijah. See? See, this goes back to what I was saying earlier. This is why he won. This is why he was in a, a successful position. The ball's over there. Instead of standing with his hands up, thinking that he can make that pass from across the court, he cuts. When he cuts, this, this guy has his eyes off of him, so clearly he don't know where he's cutting to. He cuts right in front of him. He lets him get right in front of him. That's the beauty of moving without the basketball. When the defender takes his eyes off of you, he don't know where you're going. So, with uh, with knowing that, he throws it right in the paint. Gets the bucket he's looking for. And that's the ball game. So, to wrap it up, to wrap it up, uh, overall, a solid game. What I did like defensively. All right, pretty much a solid game. What I did like defensively was the fact that the coach uh, switched up multiple defenses. I love that. I've I, I seen a lot, right? Um, I like the intensity and the effort and the energy they play with. Offensively, they struggled a little bit, um, but they, they got it going later. Ultimately, not a bad game, man. So, uh, thank y'all for tapping in. I'm going to have the stats of all the individual players in the description below.